Another good feature in iOS 14 is App Clips. App Clips has a page here in the developer portal which will show you how it is useful. It can be part of an app which the user doesn't have installed or can be a part which might be overlaying over something else. Uh, it's, it's, you can download the full app or you can just download the partial app and use it just for whatever it whatever functionality it provides. So a lot of different apps can provide this functionality, but the problem is the size. The 10 MB is the maximum limit that you can have on app clip. But if you're doing something more than 10 MB, then of course you need an entire app. So that's why app clips are helpful. And let's see how we can build one. So let's say start with the project, call it app clips project. So FTY, everything is fine. Let's create my project. And once I have my project, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's actually run this app just to see how it looks like. I'm going to say, hello world. And this is a full app. So I'm going to say, hello world, complete app. And I'm going to run it on my device, on 11 simulator, run it. it should open up in the simulator and it should say, hello world, complete app. So I can have my complete app installed on my simulator as soon as it loads up hello world complete app that's what it says and you'll probably see the app stored here i can just go back remove app delete app delete stops i'm going to create a new target file new target to create an app clip first let's search for it way too many things app clip call it uh, app clip or i'm going to call it partial app since my project name is app clip itself. So I'm going to call it partial app and finish. So finish it, I'll activate it, creates a separate target here. Inside this target now, uh, if you look at it, it has everything similar. It has its own app file, it has its own content view. So I'm going to call it partial app and then just run that partial app instead of the entire app. It's going to go and open up my partial app and you'll see hello world partial app. If you look at it, it doesn't actually install the app. It just shows a clip and you can just access that clip and it should be less than 10 MB as I mentioned before. So that's how you can build an app clip quickly. Now, so what if I want to share some files between this project and, and my app? Like you don't want to write the same code over and over again and that's what Apple recommends don't repeat yourself, don't write the same code over and over again. So if I just want to create one file and access it, for example, create a Swift UI view and I'll call it common view, create it. Now, once I created it, I forgot to add it to both the, pro both the targets. So I can go here and I say, create it for both the target. Usually you would probably, when you create a file and you say next, you can set it over here saying that I want it to use for both the targets. But anyways, since I showed you another way, you can go here, go to properties and you'll see, you can set that here. Now in this particular view, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have, let's keep this text. I'm gonna call it common view, which is common for both of them. Now this is common view. I'm gonna use this in my, let's create a P stack and use this plus my common view and run this project. Now this is a complete app. So if I write it in complete app and run it with the app, and since this is not part of my app clip, it will not be displayed there. So if you see it's there in the complete app, but if I have a partial app or the app clip, it will not show that here. Now if I want to use that here, I can just, since it's part of both the targets, I can always do this. Okay, run this partial app. And I should see that in my partial app too. So this is how you can use a same code file in both the projects but what if you want to display something different and different like i can say i want to say common full view do you want to do a functionality which is uh, more 
common in the com like um, I would say something that you want to do in your app versus versus in partial app or in the app clip you want to do something less. So I'm gonna say app clip view. So what if you want to do something different in different parts? So what you can do is you can go to your project and select your partial app, go to your build settings, move down to let's say Swift compiling, Swift compiler custom flags, and here double click on this, add app clip to it. Same here, let's add a flag, app clip, something like that. And now in my project, I can say, this is how you can add debugger flags. If app clip, then do this. Else, with the thing, I want to do this. And of course, in this particular format, you also have to do end if. So the problem here is, if it's app clip, I'm saying full, so just, up here so I'm going to fix this run this and as you see for app clip we have common app clip view whereas for the full complete project it will use that so this is how you can use a single class between common between two of them and then accordingly display whatever information you want if you want to use different libraries and things you can do that and display so this will be quite helpful and the nice functionality that Apple has provided, which you can use in your project. If you like this video and uh, you'd want to support us and want more from us for iOS 14 and similar projects, uh, just uh, leave your comments below and also subscribe and like this video, so which will help us to support uh, and create more uh, more videos for you.